All right, so what we have here is an old weed eater lawnmower. I reckon somebody got it from Walmart. It has a four and a half horse Briggs and Stratton. Now, um, when I found this mower, I I had to do a little work to it to get it running. Uh, smoked like a freight train, uh, tore it apart, found out that the uh, cylinder walls were real scored up. Um, everything else inside the engine looks pretty good, but uh, it's really not worth the trouble of trying to save, save that. So, something I've always been interested in, I've never really been able to find, is a uh, somebody who has taken and opened the back of one of these engines up and shown it running. Now, I've seen people who have done it, I guess, converted them to hit and miss, but I've just kind of wondered what it would look like to see just one running regularly. There's a four-stroke brick strut. See up in there is crank. Sorry about glare. Piston up in there. Camshaft, crankshaft, connecting rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's give her a start and show all you YouTubers what it looks like. Sorry about shaky camera. Sorry for the moment, the only way I've got to shut it off is to uh, push my little. I ended up using the oil slinger as a uh, uh, cover for the carburetor. It didn't want to idle very. I, well, it didn't want to idle that low with the regular breather or without a breather on it. So I had to have something to uh, choke it off a little bit to make up for that. Um. In any case, uh, I thought it was something interesting, fun little project. Uh, yes, I do oil the main bearings and the camshaft and all that stuff after after I've run it for a few minutes. Um, running it for a couple minutes like that's <laughs> not really going to hurt it any worse than it's already hurt. So, but anyway, there you go. I think when it was running there, I had a pretty good shot of the piston. Although with this camera, you might not be able to see all of it working very well. But it does run. I thought it was interesting. Um, until next time.